Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Um, this is by request. You're welcome. All right. So let's see. Well, how should we? There's a couple different ways we can do it. Let me show you a real simple way. So uh, we get we need a C chord. Uh, we could just go down, down, up, up, down, up. So that'll be your strum. Down, down, up. Up, down, up, that real simple generic strum we use. So you could do that, and I'll show you a more complicated way in just a moment. So we're going to do C for f six times. So um, C chord is the fifth string, third fret, fourth string, second fret, second string, first fret. Okay, we're going to go to a G chord eventually. You could just go six string three, and um, fifth string second, first string three. That's a nice G chord. Any G chord will do, by the way. Uh, and then an F chord, uh, second string, first fret, third string, second fret, fourth string, uh, third fret. I'm going to wrap my thumb and grab the sixth string, first fret, mute that first string. You can do the big giant bar, you can do the small F, just keep your strum kind of small so you don't hit that open sixth string, or lean your thumb so you can deaden it, you know, something like that. And then there's a G7 chord in there too, first string, first fret, fifth string, second fret, sixth string, um, third fret. <laughs> uh, you can do a G chord. If you can't do a G7 or if you don't want to bother, a G chord will do. It, it's uh, G7 is just, it uh, pulls it a little bit more towards a C chord. It's a little bit more fancy, that's all. Alright, so, head, shoulders, knees, knees and toes. Da, da, dum. So, you got a C, C, da, 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 da. For two, and then back to C for two, and then you start it all over again. So it's C for six, G for two, C for two, F for two, G seven for two, or G, and then C for two, and then that just keeps revolving around. Here's a more uh, complicated version for you. I'm hitting the 6th string, 3rd fret, open 5th, 5th string 2nd fret, boom, boom, boom. that leads right into a C chord, and what I'm doing there is I'm hitting the 5th string strum, then I switch to the 6th string 3rd fret, and I strum. So I'm going back and forth on the C chord like this. See my 3rd finger? Do a little palm mute too. You can do that. You do that like 6 times. And then I'm going to just go to a G chord. I probably leave my third finger right there. And on the G chord, I hit the sixth string strum, fourth string strum, sixth string strum, fourth string strum. That's my G. Then I go back to my C, fifth string, sixth string, fifth string. Do that. Then um, let's see, where are we at? Oh, actually, I do change it a little bit there just before the F chord. So that C chord, I went 5th string, 6th uh, string, 5th string, and uh, then I went like this, 6th string, 3, 2, and that leads right to the odd. So I could go on the F chord, I hit the 6th string, and then I switch to the 5th string. I switch my 3rd finger over to the 5th string 3rd fret, and I do that twice. Then when I go to the G7, I hit the 6th string strum, open 4th string, and go back and forth like that. Then I hit the C, 5th string, 6th string, then hit the whole chord, and then boom, 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 back into the song. Did that 6 times, then I'm on the G for 2. Then the C again. Then the fancy one. Da, da, da. F for two. And then what did I do? I would G7. And then the 
the sea. What you could do too is you could go boom, down, up, boom, down, boom. Please subscribe and play more guitar. <laughs>